Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text effect inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, first thing we will do, we will create one composition, we will call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 second long and background color I am going to choose black color and simply hit ok and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and click on title safe action. Then I am gonna press ctrl y on my keyboard to select solid background, I will call it as bg and hit ok. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and simply double click to apply so we'll get something like this. I'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit and uh, brightness totally somewhere around like this and complexity I'm going to choose 2 so I'll get this kind of stuff. Increase the contrast again and decrease the brightness somewhere around like this. Now after that let's go to the transform effect uh, and we will scale it down this like this okay let's make the complexity one and let's see what we will get or let's say three maybe yeah we will get this kind of results now alt click on this evolution tab and type time star i'm gonna go with 60 uh, and if you hit play now as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation let's make this 600 so the evolution will be a little bit faster like this okay so this is gonna be my bg so i'll select this uh, bg i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this move all attributes into the new composition and let's call it as bg only and let's delete this okay so this is our background uh, we will hide this for now now we will create our text for the text i'm going to select this text and let's type your text i'm going to type oops sorry uh, let's choose white color so we can see this text i'm going to select white color and for the font i'm going to choose poppins uh, and distance between alphabet let's make this zero like this let's select this and type our text first okay this is my text let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this Let's go to the character menu and let's try to increase the distance between these alphabets somewhere around like this. Okay, let's make this 15 properly like this. Okay, let's select this text, press V for selection tool and I'm gonna move this text over here, uh, this like this. Now hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and by holding shift I'm gonna bring this over here and select these two layers, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, bring both of them at the top and then by holding shift i'll move them downwards like this again hit ctrl d bring these two duplicates at the top by holding shift i'm gonna move them downwards like this okay then select all of them and make sure they are properly at the center of this composition like this okay now select all of the six texts i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call this as one and simply hit ok and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window let's select this one and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this over here like that now uh, let's select this double click to open this let's select all of these layer layers and over here i am going to delete this fill and for the stroke color i am going to choose white color like this and stroke width is one pixels uh, let's go inside this main composition and we will hide this thing for now now let's select these layers i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll supply apply fill effect on it let's double click to apply this fill effect and you are to can choose whatever color you want i'm going to choose something like neon green and simply hit ok now let's select this hit enter and let's call this layer as c and hit ok now i'm going to select my rectangle tool over here and now what we need to do we will create mask on this C so let's create one mask over here like this 
okay like this now let's select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call it as r and hit ok and with the help of this selection tool i'll double click this mask and i'll move this and i'll try to cover e only then select this uh, let's adjust this like this okay uh, you can enable if you want uh, this one layer and you can lock this layer also let's select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as e like this select this mask or you can simply double click over here to select this mask move this towards e and you can adjust this like this okay then select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as a then select this mask and let's move this towards the a and let's try to adjust the mask like this let's select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as t and double click to open this let's move this over here and try to adjust the mask let's select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as i double click to select this mask and let's move this over here and this one should be over here again hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as v double click to select this mask move this over here and let's move this over here okay select this hit ctrl d again double click to open this let's move this over here and let's move this over here okay so now each and every one is properly covered let's select this and hit enter let's call it as e now we will go inside any of this comp because all of them are basically one comp only just the naming of them are different let's go inside the c uh, like this and now what we need to do over here let's see properly i'm gonna go to around let's say five frames over here i'll select this and i'll move this over here then i'll go to 10 frames i'll select this i'll move this over here or instead of that uh, let's select all of them hold alt close bracket like this let's move up to five frames select this move this over here with the help of square open bracket and we will try to adjust them one by one like this see like this and like this now if you see this animation between one seconds we will get this animation now let's select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text and hit ok like this let's go to around one second and at one second i'm gonna hold alt and close bracket like this okay now our entire composition is of 10 seconds so what we can do is we can simply hit ctrl d few times uh, uh like this and simply select all of them right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok so they are now adjusted one by one so we will get this animation continuously and let's select this hit ctrl d and we will try to adjust that over here also like this so now our in, uh, at entire time we will get this animation and let's go to the main animation and if you see this animation over here we will get something like this now what we need to do over here is uh, we need to adjust it one by one so let's go to the five frames i'll select this r and i'll move this over here let's go to the 10 frames select this move this over here and we will adjust the distances like this like this so if you hit play now we will get something like this now let's select this by select all of them hold alt open bracket to trim this let's go to the start and let's move this over here so we'll get something like this now select all of them and by pressing ctrl shift c pre-compose this and i'll call it as text animation and hit ok like this now press ctrl y to create one solid background uh, and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect which is gradient ramp and simply double click to apply select this press ctrl shift c and i'm gonna name it as map and simply hit ok and we will hide this layer 
then select this text animation layer go to the effect and preset panel and search for time displacement effect uh, like this and double click to apply and i'm going to select this map layer like this okay and let's choose quarter resolution now so if you see this animation now we will get something like this so let's go inside this map let's select this uh, and this time i'm going to select this anchor point i'll move this over here let's select this and move this over here and let's see what kind of results we get if you see this now we will get something like this uh, and if you go over here uh, let's make this radial ramp and let's move this over here and let's see what kind of results we will get we will get something like this let's try to swap these colors and let's see we are gonna get something like this now after that right click new and create one adjustment layer and search for mosaic effect and double click to apply so we'll get this kind of blocks and if you see this thing now we will get this kind of pattern over here uh, and uh, if you want then you can increase the blocks also you can make this 20 by 20 and now if you see we will get some extra blocks okay like this now i'm gonna select all both of them and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final text animation like this and if you want you can select this hit ctrl d uh, and you can move this to 10 frames and you can apply another color on it like if i apply fill effect over here as you guys can see i can use different colors instead of red i can choose this kind of bluish or purple looking color also so i'll get this kind of animation let's try to select something like this or uh, instead of that what i'm gonna do i select this and i hit ctrl d again and i'll move this to 20 frames like this now i'll select this first frame let's uh, go uh, let's adjust it by five frames five frames like this okay first i'm going to choose apply fill effect and let's choose red color only select this apply fill effect uh, i think uh, we have already fill effect let's apply green color over here uh, and the third one we can apply blue color over here which is somewhere around like this okay and if you want then you can select all of them and you can choose screen effect also so we will get something like this okay uh, this is totally up to you you can uh, use this if you want uh, and uh, if you want then you can simply delete all of them and you can simply go with the one color also which is this neon green like this and if you see this in full resolution you will get something like this then after that right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc lens effect on it and simply double click to apply and let's increase the size uh, convergence not sorry size over here like this let's make this 200 plus 250 okay this looks good to me it will take a time to little bit to load and right click new and create one adjustment layer again and search for glow effect on it and increase the glow radius somewhere around like this increase the glow threshold to 90 so we will get this kind of results okay and there is another thing you can do if you want you can simply go to the one which is our outlines you can select each and every layer you can create shape from the text uh, for each and every layer like this this is just an extra step that you can do if you want uh, or you can so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned